Welcome back everyone to Data Science for Everyone. Today we're going to be starting a new series called Information Quality Theory. So the first thing that we're going to want to talk about is just kind of why we're going to be starting this series. Now the series is going to be designed to provide people with the theoretical understandings and foundation uh, to help develop a deep understanding of information quality theory from a more technical, organizational, and strategic perspective. Okay, this series is going to help us work on writing up projects and to conduct research in the field of information quality. And more specifically, we're going to also be able to expose the concepts and principles and tools, models and techniques that are going to be essential for information quality definitions, measurement analysis, and improvement. Additionally, students are going to be able to be exposed to uh, the most current and cutting edge types of research that go beyond uh, the current industry practice and information quality. So the basics of this particular uh, class here are going to allow us to do a couple things. So we're going to start off with again, a basic overview of information quality. Then we're going to go over to starting how to start the research process. And then we're going to go and talk about research methods, then data collection techniques, and then we're going to go over to data analysis as well as research presentation. And we'll talk about these a little bit more in depth in just a moment. So let's go on and now talk about the objectives that we're going to want to do. So by the end of this series, okay, you guys are going to be able to identify and characterize and state the important problems in information quality. We're going to be able to formulate and justify our research questions based on potential impact, knowledge gaps and theoretical foundations and prior work. Identify, synthesize, and create, uh, critically evaluate literature relevant to information quality uh, research questions. Describe and select appropriate research design and methods for research questions. You're also going to be able to write an operational plan for research studies. Uh, this is going to include appropriate methods uh, to collect, manage, analyze, and report your data. To communicate research designs, plans verbally, visually, and in writing. We're also going to be able to formulate dissemination plans of our research. Also, we are going to engage in critical reflection of our own strengths and professional development needed in relation to the design and conduct and reporting of research and information quality. The main topics that we uh, are going to discuss, as we said in the beginning, are going to be uh, starting the research process, research methods, data collection techniques, data analysis, and research presentation. And again, all of these are going to be more in the theoretical type aspects and are going to be in a very generalized overview. Next up, let's talk about what we're going to cover inside of the research process. So the major research paradigms, reviewing literature and how to conduct literature reviews, defining research, research proposals, uh, sampling methodologies, research data management, and ethics in research, as well as potential places where you can uh, get certified for ethics in uh, data analysis and ethics and research. Our research methods, we're going to look at case studies, surveys, experimental research, usability testing, ethnography, Delphi studies, action research, historical research, and grounded theory, whether to use methods or analysis. We're going to also work on data collection techniques. Now, these are not the standard uh, data collection techniques that many of us are kind of used to. These are going to be more of the research-based and things that, again, all companies are going to be using uh, in um, all over the world, okay, as well as researchers. So we're going to conduct, learn how to conduct interviews, create questionnaires, ob observations, diaries, focus groups, and then also we're going to talk about analyzing uh, the analysis of existing data and externally created material. Then we're also going to create data and look at data analysis, again, both the qualitative and the quantitative analyses. And again, these are going to be very generalized overviews in this particular series. Finally, we'll uh, show you guys how to create 
and design research presentations. This is everything from slide design, video creation, as well as how to get up and give uh, presentations to a group. Uh, once again, COVID restrictions are lessened. Uh, if you guys are interested, make sure to subscribe to this series and like this video, uh, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.